Hey, it's Danielle from Wendell Woodworks. A question I hear often is how I make my basic scroll saw patterns, especially when it comes to words, to the fonts, to basic picture formatting. So this tutorial is gonna show you how I do it and how you can do it using canva.com. There are a lot of different programs out there, but I love Canva because it's accessible to anyone with internet, no matter which type of computer you have, and it's pretty intuitive and easy to use. So let's dive right in. So we're gonna begin by going to canva.com on your web browser. And at the top right, you'll see a create a design button. We're gonna create our own design and down at the bottom, you can actually create your own custom dimensions. You may wanna do this in just a paper size, which is the size that you'll be printing on. And that's eight and a half by 11 inches. And now we can get to designing. So we have our paper size here. Over on the left, you'll see different options. We're gonna hit the text button and add a heading to add a text. Now there are a lot of different font options. When you click down, you can scroll through. The ones with crowns, those are the premium Canva, which my husband and I have because he uses it for work also. So they're gonna cost on a monthly basis or you can pay for it. But the ones without crowns are all free. And there's a lot of great free options as well. So you can choose just a basic block font here. I'm just gonna type in my brother's name, which is David. And let me show you all the things you could do with this. You can stretch it out to make it bigger, to fit the page the way that you want. And then we're gonna go up to the effects button right up here at the top. There's a lot of cool things you can do with this. If you want to just have the outline, you can hit the hollow button. This will take away the middle and it'll give you a good line option for scrolling. Or you can outline it and you can do this with images as well. It'll outline and you can change that line to be as thick as you want. So you can kind of have a bubble effect here or you can make it really thin. This is a fun option if you wanna do two layers and you can have an outside layer that's bubbled around the words and then cut the letters individually to glue on top afterwards. And something else you can do is change the letter spacing. So let's say you want all the letters to touch so that you can scroll one piece. You can change the letter spacing up by the effects button when you move it down, it'll bring the letters closer together, or you can separate them out by bringing the letter spacing up. And of course there's great script options as well. You can type in script if you wanna look at just the cursive writings and check out what they have here. Again, there's a lot of beautiful options. And beyond scripts, over on the left-hand side above the text, you'll find element. And you can search for any image that you want. There are so many options available to you. So let's say that we're gonna search for an animal, maybe for a nursery sign, or I want a specific bear. I can type in bear and let's see what they have. And it's as easy as clicking on the picture that you want and rearranging the size to what you want for your pattern. And you can also edit these images. So if you go down to where you see shadows, you can actually outline the image if that's helpful to have an outside outer line for you to cut when you're tracing your pattern and you can control the thickness of this as well. And if you're artistic, there's an option for you to draw on the pattern yourself. On the left-hand side, you'll see the draw option and you can kind of write your own lines and squiggles wherever you want them. And also you can upload your own photo. So if there's a picture specific to you that you want or one that you weren't able to find on Canva, you can upload it. So if you pay the premium for Canva, you can go to edit photo and there's a background remover that I love. So if you just wanted the picture of this fish, for example, you can hit that background remover, get rid of all the extra and just have that fish as a pattern. And then again, you can go to shadows, you can outline it. If that's helpful, you could even do fancy things like make it glow. But for the purposes of making scroll saw patterns, sometimes it's just nice to give it a little outline. And now that we have the pattern design, it is time to print it off so we can actually use it as a pattern. So go to share in the top right corner. We're going to download the page that you want. I'm going to download page one and it doesn't really matter what format. I'm gonna save it as a PNG and download it this way. And now it's time to print this pattern so we can get it on some wood to scroll. There are a lot of different programs you can use to open this up on and print from. A lot of people use Adobe or Inkscape. But if you don't have anything on your computer except for just the basic programs, that's okay. If you have a Microsoft computer, you can open it up in Paint. 
I'm using a Mac and the basic program that comes on a Mac is called Keynote, which is a little bit like PowerPoint. When you open up Keynote, you have the option on the right side under document to change the slide size. And I'm going to change this to a standard page size. It's a little tricky to understand the points to inches conversion, but you can look that up on Google or just know that it's 72 points per inch. So to match what we made on Canva, this is gonna be a standard page size and portrait, which is 612 points by 793 points. Now we can get rid of all the extra stuff and we can go to image gallery that you'll find at the top under insert and then we can insert our downloaded design from Canva. I'm going to go ahead and stretch this out to fit the page and then it is ready to print. So let's go to print and make sure the settings are correct. And it looks like this page is in landscape right now, which is fine. But because I made the design in portrait, I'm going to go ahead and change that under page attributes to portrait mode, just so it fits exactly the way that I want it to. And now we're ready to print. I hope that was helpful. If you want to learn how to make a new backer for your new design, you can check out this video or subscribe to my channel for some more tutorials. Thanks for watching and happy scrolling.